Hey YouTube. A uh, subscriber asked me to do a video on L-Ornithine or Ornithine HCL or L-Ornithine HCL. So what in the God's name is Ornithine HCL? Well, essentially it's an amino acid, but the biggest thing that we need to understand about Ornithine as an amino acid is that it's not a proteogenic amino acid. What the hell did I just say? So, proteogenic amino acids are ones that are precursors for building muscle blocks. So we hear about like BCAAs, uh, you know, you often hear about arginine when it comes to uh, vasodilation and stuff like that. So what it is, is ornithine is an amino acid that will not help you build muscle because that's not its purpose, but it has other purposes in the body. So it's a free amino acid that floats around in your body and does magic things, ish. So uh, there have been studies done on ornithine that basically showed that by taking a certain amount, usually it is actually, you know, between two and six grams a day. It's a, it's a huge amount, mind you. But then again, having said that, if you take too much of it, you're going to pee it out. Now, what ornithine is responsible for is the increased secretion of urea, all right, and ammonia in your blood. So what happens is, um, let's, let's bring this down a little bit. Uh, ornithine goes around your body, basically increases the amount of ammonia and urea that gets pulled out of your cells, goes to your kidneys, tells your kidneys, hey, get rid of this crap. You pee it out, right? You pee out the urea and the ammonia. And what this actually does is it's shown to increase the recovery period of muscles and decrease DOMS. And, you know, hey, who wants DOMS? DOMS suck. Um, and so does, like, you know, mid-set cramps and stuff. So what ornithine actually does is it is designed um, as a supplement. You know, it's obviously we didn't make ornithine. It's an amino acid. We're not God. If there is a God, I'll leave that one up to you, not on this channel. Anyways, so if you take uh, ornithine HCL as a supplement, what's going to end up happening is you're going to increase the amount of ammonia and urea that's getting excreted by your body, which is good because it's going to decrease muscle soreness and increase in reducing fatigue, which is good. It's what we all want. Um, is it all that? Yes and no. Uh, because it's a non-essential amino acid and it's not found in a lot of like fish products, meat products, it's not really found uh, that much anywhere, but your body doesn't need very much of it to, to use it, right? We're also really good at recycling it. So when you go ahead and, and max supplement with ornithine, uh, like two to six grams a day, what's gonna end up happening is uh, your body's gonna use what it can and then you're gonna pee out the rest like all supplements on earth. However, there, because we don't get a lot of it in our diet, when your body all of a sudden has a bunch of it, it's gonna use it to its maximum potential, which means you will get increased ammonia and urea, you will reduce your fatigue. So that's a good thing uh, at the end of the day. Not a common supplement because there's a lot of people that don't really get a lot of use out of it. Um, I mean, we're drinking lots of water, which is increasing our kidneys' um, urine output, which means we're filtering more urea and ammonia anyways. So if you're drinking a lot of water, would I recommend this, this product? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if you got a lot of money, give her. If you don't, then save your money on something else. I personally wouldn't take this supplement just because I drink like nine liters a day and uh, muscle soreness and fatigue, not so much of an issue for me with regards to uh, that level of recovery. However, um, does it have some potential? Absolutely. Um, because of the studies that have been done, it does show that it, it does work. All right. There's no questions about it. It does work and it does exactly what the product asks you or uh, says that it's going to do. Uh, reduces fatigue through the excretion of all those nasty products that sit in the muscle and make you sore or make you tired. Uh, is there anything else to note on this stuff? Um, yeah, not found commonly. Um, studies have shown that it will reduce fatigue. Is it worth the money? Oh, if you got money, give her. Why not? Uh, I used to waste money on supplements all the time. Now I take four. That's it. You know, so um, I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, yes, it's proven to show it to, to work. No, I don't think it's uh, worth the, the money investment personally, but if you got bank rolls that I don't, give her shit, son. Quotes, questions, and comments down below. And as always, guys, eat like a bodybuilder, train like a powerlifter.